Hello friends, welcome to my channel Go Digit. Today, in this video, we will learn about attach and debug next. Okay, so uh, like uh, as you know that BC22 is already been launched, and now what uh, the options we have that we can in our project if we want to debug on based on the user. Uh, different user sessions based on the existing sessions we can now do so by attaching a debugger to the next client so this is a feature which was earlier available in the cal days okay but now with the business central uh, it was uh, not directly available there was a concept of snapshot debugging through which we can achieve achieve this kind of setting but now this has been added to our AL debugger only so there is no need for the snapshot debugging but we can do so uh, like attaching the debugger in our current environment only based on different users based on different sessions so in this video I will show you how to configure that and how to use that so you can see here that currently I am on my AL project 8 which has these three uh, you could say that these two uh, AL files a sim sample code customer list and normal test code unit okay so what the first thing is that first of all we have to make sure that the object the project on which we are working it should be deployed to the environment so to do that uh, to, to do the deployment let me do so like i don't want to debugging at the moment i just run without the debugging and it will use my current uh, uh, configuration which is uh, which has been added in the launch.json and deploy the project this is a very important first step guys that you must have to deploy your current project right to your environment if you have not deployed it first then uh, this setting will not work even let's say you have deployed this project and now you again write down something some new code then it is your responsibility that you should first deploy that new change as well then only it will work okay so now my code my project is already been deployed let me tell you a few things now so what you have to do you have to go to the launch.json and currently you can see that my launch.json is having the information of my current environment where I wanted to publish my project. But to attach the new configuration for the debugging part, what I have to do, I have to click on this add configuration. And you can see here that I am getting the two options of attach to the client on your cloud sandbox, attach to the clients on your server. So this is for the on-prem and this is for the SaaS. I can click here and it is now giving me in uh, the it has now added this new configuration of attach to my project okay so currently it <clears throat> you can see that I have to pass the name of my environment which is BC22 test and also what I can do here that I can copy my tenant details and then the next setting is break on next so currently by default is web service client so if you want to debug your particular web services then you have to select this option but I want to test I want to debug the web client so what I can do here I can select web client okay now there are two new settings which have been added just to make the proper use of this attach debug to the next session or to the particular user session and that is session ID and the let me give you any number here and then okay first I describe user ID so 
not coming. Here it is, user ID. So here, like if you want to test, if you want to debug the environment of any of your user, okay, so you can always do so by typing the name of that user. Okay, and once you have assigned the username, then it will automatically check for that user and attach the debugging there for your, uh, like if you want to test your project, if you want to debug your project. Okay, the second setting is session. Not sure why it is not suggesting, but here it is session ID. So what is this session ID and from where you can get this? Let me open it again. And you can see here that currently I have uh, this BC is running. Okay. Now what I do here that uh, let me uh, uh, let me do something. Let me go to the admin center. And let me click here. And if you see the sessions which are currently active on my environment, they are this number 4611, 4641. Okay. Let me refresh. Okay. So let's say uh, this is my session 4641. I want to attach my debugging to this particular session 4641. So what I can do, I can copy this ID and mention it here 4641 right and let's say uh, because I have only one user so there is no need for currently mentioning any user ID okay so this is the thing now I have attached uh, I'm saying in this configuration that please attach my debugger to this particular session okay and it is already open now right so now what the thing is you come here and first of all because we have made a change okay so the thing is we have to deploy this first Okay, so the new session is added now if I show you by refreshing so you can see here that this is my old session of ID 4641 and this is my new session of ID 4675 less than one minute ago and this is less than six minute ago so now I I am already saying in my configuration that I want to attach my debugger to this id so let's see whether uh, i will be successful uh, to attach the debugger for this id or not so now i have to start the debugging to do that you can see that now i am getting my attach microsoft cloud sandbox as well so i have to select this configuration obviously i don't want to go with this setting i want to go with this setting so i've selected this click on start debugging and now see the information here and you can see that what the information is saying debugger is successfully attached to the session 4641 right it is not opening up any new session of the BC because I am working on this setting this configuration so let's open your current uh, that session on which you want to test okay so if I go to the customer 
and you can see that it's successfully attached to that debugger to that code to that breakpoint okay so i can now start the debugging and whatever i want to debug whatever i want to test i can easily do so right so this is the thing which i wanted to share with you that now based on the sessions based on the different users you can always attach the al debugger and do the debugging for any of the problem which you are facing with your code okay so that's it which i wanted to share in this video thank you very much for watching this if you like this please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel thank you very much